Uh, all right. While uh, I'm gone, I thought I would take advantage of the time and have your substitute show you these video clips to help you learning, to help you learn. Quit laughing at me, all right? All right. If you hear any noise in the background, that's my seven-month-old. It's 1024 at night. What? Eight-month-old, my wife just informed me. Time flies. Anyway, he should be asleep an hour and a half ago, but instead he just barely woke up. All right, so please turn to solubility of solids. It's probably around page six or seven. I should have looked before I started this, but turn there and let's go through these notes together. All right, so solubility of solids. If you remember, solubility means the ability of something to dissolve. And if you remember what I mean by dissolve, dissolving just means a big chunk breaking into smaller chunks. Those chunks break into smaller chunks, and eventually they're so small we can't see them. So when something dissolves, it's still there, it's just in small parts that we can't see. All right, so here we go. In general over here. Get just a few things out of the way. When an excess amount of solute is added to a given quantity of solvent at a given temperature, the dissolving process will take place until no more solute can dissolve in the substance. All right, let me scan down here, and I want you to think through this little lesson about a bowl of milk with some cereal. All right, I just barely had my Reese's Puffs. Um, I guess that won't work. Pretend that these are kicks. Now, kicks are awesome, except for they have no taste. So, you have to add your own sugar to get them to taste good, right? All right, so here's your bowl. Here's your kicks. And to make them taste good at all, you need to add sugar to the milk. All right, so this first thing that we just barely said, let's put this in English. It says when an excess amount of solute is added to a given quantity of solvent at a given temperature, the dissolving process will take place until no more solute can dissolve in the solvent. All right. In English, that is saying when an excess amount of sugar is added to a given quantity of milk at a given temperature, the dissolving process will take place until no more sugar can dissolve in the solvent. Now, most of us, since we're human, we do this on purpose and we add too much sugar so we end up with little piles of sugar on the bottom. And here we are scooping our kicks, and we put our spoon just a little bit too deep in, and it fills with sugar, and a few kicks, and a tiny little bit of milk, and we are just pleased as punch to eat that excess sugar. Now, besides the, the dentist appreciates that and probably isn't healthy, that's awesome, and it's a great way to look at what we just said once again. All right, when we put stuff in liquid, it will dissolve until it cannot anymore. All right, when it cannot anymore, it is called saturated. All right, saturated is when it is holding exactly the amount that it can and no more. All right, that'll be down here at C, and we'll get there in a minute. All right, now, this section right here makes no sense. Let's fill it out anyway. All right, the amount of substance that dissolves in a given quantity of solvent at a given temperature to produce a saturated solution. At some point in time, this little section must have been taken out of a section down there, and I always forget to fix it before we move on. All right, so you'll learn more about what that means. That's Jace introducing himself. All right, we will move on to part B here in just a second because these clips only let me record for five minutes and I'm just about out.